Hello! Now, the other day, I went and bought myself a cheeky little donut, and when I'm faced with all the flavours of donuts, I usually veer towards Boston cream ones because I love custard and I love anything with pastry cream and similar things. Um, and as I was eating it, I thought, oh, this would make a really nice flavour for a cupcake. And lo, this recipe that I'm about to share with you was born. This recipe for Boston cream pie cupcakes is going to be a vanilla sponge filled with custard, topped with custard, and then dunked in chocolate. Now this is a really awesome recipe for a Boston cream pie cupcake, but it's more than that, because the main part of Boston cream is the Boston cream, which is also known as custard, which is also known as pastry cream or creme patissiere, to give it a fancy French name. So this recipe is actually going to be a very, very important one for every aspiring baker out there, because you should all know how to make this. So we're making this now so it has time to chill before we use it. Um, so I have a big bowl here and I'm going to put 190 grams of caster sugar along with 40 grams of corn flour and just give that a little whisk to combine it. And then you need to add the eggs. So get two large free range eggs and then to that add two egg yolks. Now obviously that leaves you with um, a couple of egg whites that you're not going to use in this recipe. So what I would do is put them in a little Ziploc bag, label them with how many egg whites are in there, stick them in the freezer and then when I want to make meringues I can take them out. And now you just need to whisk all of those things together. Now I'm not trying to fluff these up and make them super whippy or anything, I just really want to combine them. But they will naturally go a little bit pale. And when they're thoroughly mixed it's time to take them over to the hob. I'm putting this nice and close to my saucepan and um, in my saucepan I have 450 millilitres of whole milk and I've already put a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract and you can see all the lovely little seeds bobbing about in there and I'm going to bring that to the boil, just to the boil though, so it's called scalding, so it's not quite bubbling and boiling, it's the bit before that. That is just about to bubble, so now I'm going to pour half of it very slowly onto my egg mixture, whisking all the time. And what this is doing is it's kind of tempering the mixture so that I don't cook the eggs and then we can proceed with thickening the custard, which is the best bit. And once half the milk is in, then you need to put the eggy milky mixture back in the pan with the rest of the milk. And now, put the heat back on to a kind of medium heat and then using a whisk, just stir that and cook it gently and that's going to thicken in about five minutes. Now I want to keep stirring it with my whisk all the time because even though it's on a medium heat, there is a chance that it could catch on the bottom and then you'll get horrible brown blobby bits in your custard. Yuck. It's thickened up quite a bit. Um, and when it starts to thicken up, you then need to cook it out for about a minute or two because that will get rid of that corn flour flavour. Now your custard should be nice and smooth and not lumpy at all, but occasionally there's little bits of eggs that kind of didn't want to join the gang. So I always like to sieve mine through a fine sieve into a bowl. And once you've got it all in a bowl, this is very important. You need to cover it with cling film, but the cling film needs to touch the surface of the custard, otherwise you get a horrible skin forming. And then once it's covered, you need to wait for that to cool down and then whack it in the fridge to chill. Now it's time for the cupcake part, and the best thing about Boston cream pie is it's not actually a pie, so this works really well because it's actually made from cake. So I am going to be using my regular vanilla cupcake recipe. I've already got in my bowl 125 grams each of self-raising flour, caster sugar and soft unsalted butter along with a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and I'm going to add two large free range eggs. So we just need to get that going on a medium speed and beat it together for a minute. And once it's had a minute, drop the speed down to minimum and now it's time to add one and a half tablespoons of milk along with a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then beat that together for another 30 seconds. So it should look really nice and pale and fluffy and now it's ready to be put into the cupcake cases. Now this recipe is for 12 cupcakes, uh, so you need a 12 hole tin lined with paper cases and then just evenly distribute all the batter between each case.
And once it's all in, it's time to bake these guys at 170 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes. My cakes came out of the oven and they're completely cooled down and now things are going to get a little bit topsy-turvy because I'm going to fill my cakes before I make the icing. And the reason for that is because I need to use all of the rest of my custard filling to make the icing. So for now, I'm going to remove the centres using my trusty apple corer. And then using a piping bag, fill your holes with custard. So once all your cupcakes are filled, it's now time to make the topping. And this is basically a custard buttercream, but it has got a fancy name, which is creme miscelline. Uh, so you can add that one to your repertoire, but it's essentially custard buttercream. And it's basically all the remaining custard mixed with butter. So squirt everything you've got left in custard land into your mixing bowl. And then add a pinch of salt. And then this just needs to be whisked up for a couple of minutes just to make it smooth. And now while it's still going on quite a high speed, it's then time to add the butter. Uh, so add 250 grams of very, very soft unsalted butter, a little tiny bit at a time with the mixer still going. And then once all the butter's in, just give it another couple of minutes whisking and then it's ready. And once it's ready, it just needs to go straight into a piping bag so we can decorate the cupcakes. Now I've got a round piping nozzle on mine because I like to think it makes it look a little bit like a donut. And now I'm going to pipe neat little blobs on top of my cupcakes. And now I'm just going to pop these into the fridge for about five minutes. Now it's time to dunk them in chocolate. And while they were in the fridge, I melted 125 grams of dark chocolate. But I also added just under a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And what that's going to do is stop it from setting to a hard crack. Because this icing is very, very soft. When you bite into it, it's not going to smush everywhere. And now all that remains is to dunk them. Once they're all covered in chocolate, you can leave those to set. It'll take a couple of hours, or you can speed it up by putting them in the fridge. So there you go. Not just a recipe for Boston cream pie cupcakes, but now you also have a really useful recipe for pastry cream, which you can use in a bunch of other yummy stuff. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, then give it the thumbs up. And why not share it with someone you think might like it as well? And don't forget to hit the bell button down there to make sure that my videos come popping up in your feed. I'll be back next week, and I will see you then. Bye.